Okay, well, it's been quite some time since I made a video on anything arcade related or any kind of video whatsoever. So, I've had this MK2 cabinet sitting in my garage since the beginning of the summer, and because it's relatively over 110 degrees every single day in Las Vegas, um, I haven't really done much. And secondly, I think the economy, as far as fixing these and selling them, is kind of hurting me flipping them and fixing them up and selling to individuals who actually can afford to buy a five to seven hundred dollar arcade machine. It's not that many of them on eBay I've noticed and the ones that are on there um, haven't been selling that well and the ones that are, are selling for like a couple hundred dollars and frankly I'm not going to buy something that's worth you know hundred to two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars whatever I pay for them and then put two two hundred dollars into it or more and a lot of work and sell it for exactly what I paid for. That's pretty stupid. I mean I enjoy doing it as a hobby but I'm not going to sit in the garage, sweat my ass off, and uh, then sell it for absolutely no profit whatsoever. So anyways, here's an MK2 cabinet that I transferred MK3 into, um, UMK3. Bought a new marquee, brand new control panel overlay, brand new sticker for the, um, the bezel. Um, and I've put this on eBay a couple of times, and I asked like $500, and I went down to like 350 and really nobody bid on it. So... What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn it back into a dedicated MK2. Um, I ordered from Main Marquees a new control panel overlay. And I'm going to keep all the buttons and joysticks and obviously take out the marquee and the sticker there. I'm trying to find an MK2 sticker. And I'm going to sell it as an MK2. Um, but I'm only going to put it on eBay one time. I'm going to try Craigslist because I'm sick and tired of paying fees on, um, on eBay. But I'm just going to make this video for the sake of showing everybody the condition of this cabinet. Um, I've had a couple people ask me over the last two or three weeks if I have anything MK related that's in good shape. And this MK2 cabinet is is probably the second best one I've ever seen. The first best one I ever saw was the one that I sold um, on eBay about three months ago. And this one is almost as good, save for a couple of scuff marks here, which you can see, which I can probably... It looks like if I scratch with my thumb, I can get a little bit off, um, but that's really the only thing that's wrong. You can kind of see it goes along this right here, and then doubles up in here. Other than that, I mean, the cabinet is relatively scratch-free. A couple of scuff marks down on the bottom, but that's standard with all these cabinets from banging around things on near the floor. But the control panel, I mean, almost absolutely flawless. The front of it, absolutely not a scratch on it. Um, I repainted the entire front here, the coin door. Um, came out pretty good. There's some spots here from where there was a sticker or some kind of like 25 cents you know, per play deal. Um, I didn't paint the actual coin doors because um, sometimes I refinish those, but I'll probably just throw a color paint over that. <clears throat> In the bottom here I got the two coin collectors here. And I replaced all the light bulbs in the coin door. It's got all the buttons working for the menu button. Um, you can kind of see some of the harnesses hanging there. Uh, this had MK3 in it, like I said. And it's got an original Hanna Trex monitor in it here. There's the pot board for that. You can see all original wire harnesses. You know, serial, serial number sticker right there from Midway. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to try to do this the right way. I'm going to take this entire control panel off since this is a dedicated MK3 control panel and I'm going to replace it with this dedicated MK2 that I took off this machine originally when I got it. And You can see the MK2 kind of peeking through this black vinyl laminate cover here. So like I said I bought the new one. I'll put it over that and then I'll install it on here. So if anybody's interested in this machine um, I'm going to take my time on it because like I said it's over 110 degrees here on a normal basis. So I can either do this early in the morning um, when time allows or in the late evening after work or when it's not as hot. So, But you can see the condition of this side is just as good, if not better. Um, there's absolutely zero fading on any of the MK2 insignia or the Dragon insignia here. I mean, it's like it's almost like it was just printed off the factory um, the other day. There's not a scratch on Raiden here. Um, the midway on the side of the cabinet is absolutely beautiful. All new T-molding I put in the other day. Uh, it matches up pretty nice. So, um, you know, I'll have buttons and joysticks. It'll work perfectly. Um, I tested the game out with an MK1 PCB the other day, so I know all the buttons and everything work. Uh, but I don't have an MK2 PCB. I'm looking for one of those with a sound card. So if anybody's got one that um, either needs some work to it, like some new ROM chips, or just has an extra one laying around they want to get rid of, let me know, because um, I'm willing to buy that. 
So that's really it. Um, I'll keep you guys abreast of any changes with this machine, but the reason for no new videos in the last two months is just strictly because it's been unbelievably hot like it usually is here in Las Vegas during the summer. So stay tuned, and I'll do a little more information on this cabinet as I make some changes to it. But pretty much swapping out MK2 and MK3 and putting this back to its factory um, restoration.